Hello everyone and welcome back to another live stream here on the twitch.tv slash the assumer playing on the Hermitcraft server and uh, getting getting to work is what we're doing. I'm in the middle of uh, doing stuff so best to just crack on with that right? Ender Void Wolf, thank you so much for the bananas in the chat letting me know that we're live. Appreciate that my dude. Billman68, Chiwi Pepper as well. The Great Orange, Lilypad, welcome to the stream. Need to remind myself, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, see, there's like there's like twenty six other hermits or twenty five other hermits. Let's just let's just do four stacks of pumpkins. I can divide that um, into thirty twos, and then we're gonna make the trophies for like each level. Uh, the thing is, though, what I gotta do is turn these into carved pumpkins. Is it me or are you streaming more? I'm not complaining, says T7 Glancy. On average, I'd say slightly less the couple last couple of weeks, but pretty close to my normal amount of streaming. Just because uh, I've missed a couple of days here and there that I would have liked to have hit. So yeah. This is the perfect way to procrastinate chores. Don't procrastinate. Get them done. Be on top of things. I'm here to motivate you. Do the things you gotta do. And you'll enjoy your free time better. Otherwise you'll be thinking about the stuff you should be doing. Hello. Hello. Uh, glad I have something nice to watch to get me out of my head today. Ah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Being in your own head all the time. I get like that every now and then. I had a little bit of that today, actually. Like, not that it, not that it was a problem, but I went to the cinema to watch Doom Part Two, and like an hour into it, I just realised I haven't thought about anything for ages. Like, I've just been watching the movie, and that's why I want to come here. <laughs> you know, you just want to. I don't know. Turn off, turn off the brain for a little bit, and it let me do that. I just kind of forgot. That I needed that. You need that every now and then. I could have swore. I could have swore I took those out of there. Apparently I didn't. Apparently I did not do that. X, this might be too many pumpkins. It is. It's uh it's more more pumpkins than we need. Hmm. <sighs> X, is your character bald? I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm bald, so maybe. Baldish. Skinhead. I don't know what you want to call me. I shaved my head. X, why don't you add some rewards for channel points to add some more interactiveness in the stream? Why don't I do that, eh? Um, can't think of any that are worth anything basically are they are they they're literally all facing one way until they're facing the other aren't they like you can look at the top and see which one's been done my inventory full yet why is it like I see that it's because when I open this up I'm just automatically over that one Aha, I'm adding hair if ever I draw you. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Does the original Doom guy have hair? Maybe that's uh, maybe that's an answer too. Yeah, by the way, June part two, absolutely fantastic. Loved it. Loved every minute of it. Totally, totally sucked into June now. I want to watch the original movie because I never enjoyed the original movie. And now I feel like that I understand the story better. I don't think I'm going to enjoy it much, but it'll like I'll have a better feel for what's going on or something. Oh, these ones. Wait, these ones have all got like different rotations, right? Oh, huh. I thought they all rotated the same way. I also don't recall. I haven't done this second layer yet. My. I... 
Wait, what's going? What's going on? Ah, huh. did I do those ones? I, I don't. I feel like I didn't do those ones. It's so weird, but maybe I did. I'm just mindlessly talking and, and clicking, so you know. I wish my brain worked better when it came to reading, because uh, I'd love to watch the June books. There's audio books. That's how I'm going to enjoy it, June. Definitely going to give the audio books a go. Unfortunately, I think it's one of those things. It's kind of hard to get into reading if you're sort of already accustomed to more modern, you know, listening and videos and stuff. Its pace is just... A little slower and whatnot. But I used to read. I read, read quite a few books when I was a kid and whatnot. And I remember enjoying it. But at some point it's like. The bandwidth of information. Is just different. Once you start getting into other stuff. So unless you like. Unless you develop that habit as a kid or whatever. I feel like yeah. It's going to be a struggle to get into books right. Another JT disagrees. Uh, it's easy to get back into reading. I'll tell you why I can't do it. It's because it gives me headaches. Because um, I remember... I don't know if this overlaps with me starting YouTube. It definitely started before I started YouTube. But I started reading some novels. I remember these... Uh, I think the author Dan Brown wrote a bunch of novels. Some of them got turned into movies. And I read... Like three or four of them. I read The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and the sequels. And I actually I actually got through like quite a few books. And I remember <laughs> I remember sitting on the toilet, because that's when, when I did most of my reading. And then I'd sit on the toilet for too long. Um and the legs would go numb, right? I remember reading really fondly. I got into a habit of it. But then I also remember it used to give me headaches. And I think as I've gotten older, the headaches come much quicker from reading. Oh, that's some good good decaf right there. Uh, Guns126, thank you so much for the Prime subscription, my dude. Thank you for supporting the channel over here on Twitch. Appreciate it. I love reading, but I don't have the commitment to finish books, says Cody. I think there's, um, I think there's two things with being committed to reading a book. There's like, sometimes if it's not working, just put it down. It's like a, a time investment thing, right? Like... You think, oh, I'll put this time into it, so I've got to keep going. And the other thing is, like, maybe it's a boredom thing. Like, you get bored of stuff too easy. Because we do live in a sort of high distraction environment these days. Uh, we're being raided. Pixel Refs with the raid. Thank you so much, Pix. Appreciate it. I see you've been playing on the uh, SOS SMP. I don't actually know much about it. i just seen... Uh seen that's what you've been up to hope it's uh going well hope you're having fun we've just been hanging out chatting about june because i went and saw june part two today and then that's led us on to talking about books i'm going to listen to the audiobooks of june at some point i am totally digging uh what it's all about i don't think i'm ever gonna need these pumpkin seeds you know i'm just gonna put them in here oh I think I, I think I might have put that aside at one point. I might have been like, oh, I need to store this somewhere and put one over there. I, I, I vaguely remember doing something like that now. Hmm. Anyway, this was a necessity. Uh, so if we go like into here, trigger that one and set. I think it's around, is it 50? So 61 is with color. No, it's not. Uh, that's confusing. What's 62 then? Let's try 41. Ha! Right. What number is that? That's 100. Well, we've already done the 100s, so that one needs to be 42. Uh huh. Now you can see where we're going with this. Excuse me, holding down a burp. That, my friends, that is the one that we need to send out to Cleo today. So back here is where I keep a stash of these trophies, right? 
And there's a bit of a naming scheme going on here, I think. Is it me or did that noise in the ear sound slightly different than usual? Oh no, I just used that colour for each of them. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, Blue Moon 20, thank you for subscribing. Burt Potato, thank you for 39 months. And Sir Thanks A Lot is here for 93. That is incredible. Appreciate it so much, my dude. It's illegal to laugh out loud in Hawaii. You have to keep it to Loha. Uh, it's a little. Oh my god, I'm so bad at jokes. Hawaii? You have to keep to Aloha. Aloha as in ha ha ha, right? But like. Ha Hawaii? Why isn't like Laos? I don't know. I don't know. That one goes over my head. Assume the hundred diamonds in the barrel behind is another hermit who placed it down by accident. They lost the name, but they got the model back. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not renamed. Right, right. I see. Which hermit was it? You can tell me who they were. Uh, Cyric. Cyric Lacrox. There's some cheers and biddies saying, yo, my dude. Yo, yo, welcome to the stream. Thank you for uh, those beautiful cheers and biddies. Very kind of you. Send them my way. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. I think there's a, I think there's an anvil around the back here, actually. Oh, what would you know there is? So that's two, uh, 250, 500, 750, 1000. Let's go ahead and uh, insert the trophy emoji. Uh huh. Get that on the clipboard, put the thing in between. And then copy all of that. It's a good thing I've got some levels here, right? And 750. And then the coveted 1000. Oh, that's a lot of diamonds. That's a lot of diamonds. Uh, then, uh, format name, format name. Hey, we're being raided by Joel as well. Thank you again, Joel, for another raid. Appreciate it. Peeps in my chat are saying it was this gal. We put it down. Ah, I see. Gotcha. Been raided by Pix. Been raided by Joel. Welcome all the peeps. We are on Hermitcraft. Working on these trophies. Getting them all prepped for uh, other hermits. And I got a couple to send out as well. I won't actually be sending them out on stream though. I'm like... In the middle of recording a bunch of stuff. I'm sure you're used to this. Hermit's telling you... Oh, I'm in an episode. This this bit here, that's... Something I've got to do on camera, right? Well, that stack with that one. It did. It did. It actually stacked down there. Huh. So, the next levels I'll make it another time. But, yeah. Now we can send these out. So, I've got one going to Rendog. And one going to Cleo. Who has the most profitable shop of all, it would seem. Let's go uh, slap these down over here. That's Cleo's one, and this is Ren's. And I should have a piece of paper on me. Huh, where'd the piece of paper go? Oh, the mysteries of that one piece of paper. Where did it go? Oh, they'll talk about that forever. Okay, so um, I need to say, for, first of all, for Cleo. I could I could make this a little bit um, more interesting by saying you are so-and-so in the leaderboard. I think I'll skip the congrats on sale thing and say... Uh, maybe we'll put congrats. Congrats. You're first on the leader. Board, right? We, we want to start mentioning this to hermits to incentivize them a little bit more. Maybe they'll come back over and look at this. So, well, there's my piece of paper. Jeez. 
Jeez. And now I'm getting spell checks in chat. Oh, grammar. Grammar. Go. Right, so Ren gets a refund of one diamond, by the way. So in this one, I need to tell him that. That's why there's a book and quill here and not just a, a blank piece of paper. So Cleo will understand um, exactly what that means. So I put it on a piece of paper, right? Let's put that in here. Chat, you're still you're still spell checking me. I'm not I'm not gonna change. All right, I'll embrace my uh, my bad habits. <sighs> mm, mm. Thorgill says, "Hey, you're the person whose English is his native tongue. That doesn't mean I'm qualified to do it properly." Jeez. Okay. Um. I don't have a Ren head, but I need to put Ren on the leaderboard. Ren has 250. So, there's like a process here that I need to get used to. And it's going to be tricky to figure it out. And it also looks like I don't have the block that I really want. So, I need I need more of that. Actually, I can just make it in the car. That's good. That's good. So, I need to make some more smooth zone stand. Stand? Words are difficult at some point. Also, there's already one of these in the room, isn't there? Hey, Voodoo Vandal. Thank you so much for a very generous donation there. Much appreciated. Uh, there wasn't a message with that one. I don't know if you wanted to send me a message, but I'll uh, keep an eye out in chat. Oh, gosh, holding down the burps. Thank you so much for your support, my dude. It's uh, greatly appreciated. We also got 4 gil 96 for 48 months. That's half of 96. Four years. Boop. Yes, last time I was the derp and said almost two years. Great to get corrected by the biggest derp around here. Oh, of course, I'm the biggest derp. I'm the one with the camera on me all the time. Oh, always being scrutinized for every little mistake I make. Oh, I can't believe it. It's rude. Um, it's not rude. <laughs> all right, so I also need to ask Ren to bring his head over here. That's another thing. So this is a little bit tricky. Um... Right, I was doing this earlier and accidentally clicking on that. This gives me this thing. Right, now if I go to trigger custom uh, set, I don't know, I don't know actually what I'm setting it to. Like, one is obviously not it. Okay. Uh, custom list. Uh, where are we at? We are Iron Nugget. 100. Oh, it starts at 100 for me, right. I figured the uh, stamp collection might get rather large. Is it number 4 then? There you go. So with the stamp collection getting large, I figured it might... Um... Oh my god, are words just... Am I just bad with words today? I think I'm just bad with words today. Yeah, I would leave loads in reserve is what I was trying to say. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put that there. Here's the here's the next bit that's kind of tricky, right? The position, I've got a feeling this next bit might not work. Oh, it does. Okay, so now when I click here, we only need to send it up half a block. Like that. Then we want to swap the head and the hand. And then I want to take from the hand. And now it's... Yeah, it's in the correct spot, isn't it? It's a little on the small side, unfortunately. But it's in the exact spot it's supposed to be in. And i got to set up another one over here, which makes me honestly a little bit concerned. <laughs> so, Ren is going to go up a level. So, it's the same thing again, isn't it? We do that. We refer to this thing. This is going to be 102. No. 101. We put it back on this armor stand. Raise that by one. Well, this is actually this is actually not a bad process then. I was a little concerned this might be tricky. We swap those around and click done. And then take that back. So now, Ren is actually um, level with me. So if we go into here... Oh, I don't have any aged copper. That's a bit of a concern. Actually, what I need is just one gold block. What am I talking about?
We're going to need to make some bamboo signs today. Ah, the armor stand is in the way. Okay. That'll become less of a pain later on, I think. This is pretty nifty, this mod, isn't it? So here we'll put a uh, Ren place holder. As you can see, I have Cleo's head. So that no longer needs to say placeholder. And then we'll put Impulse inferred since he's the only other hermit to donate the head so far. This will work. I'm having some serious burps, by the way. I got this coffee drink I just finished eating. I apologize. Couldn't agree and not remember the permit command. I'm pretty sure I just saw it in the custom model number one to freeze his crafty was. I think he's just playing it up for fun, you know? Then again, I add all this stuff to to address hermits forgetting, like they can't remember. So I'm like, look, we'll get a command put in that tells you what they are, and then they forget that. So maybe he's not. Either, either is possible. Okay, so then we got impulse over here. I don't know. I don't know. Like. I could put impulse there, so like, yeah, let's do that. The ones who sign up first get to have their heads closer to the middle. That's how I'm going to do it. Them's my rules, right? Them's my rules. That's all I'm saying. So this block here, impulse down here. Uh, don't put the Enderman head on. That's not his head. Now, the, the tricky bit that we got to do next is put that armor stand in. I think somewhere I made some notes to remind myself what coordinates I need to use and stuff were. Might have to go look that up. Uh, Ye old Envelope says, I spent three hours making curry. I'm stuffed. Awesome, man. Did it, did it taste good? Was it a good curry? Today I've had, what did I have for breakfast? I had like a scrambled egg thing with, with uh, meat and cheese and egg. Then I went to the cinema, had a big bag of popcorn. Uh, came home, had some porridge, and then I just uh, finished eating some uh, bassa with uh, spinach, rice, and broccoli. Very tasty. Very nice. Got to season it right, though. Uh, until we put Sink on it, that's probably not a good idea. My God, this man has scared the life out of me. Hello there, good sir. Hi. <laughs> just gave me a mild heart attack. <laughs> Just, you know, all of, a, to do that. all of a sudden Sorry. there's an XB. <laughs> I was editing signs while you <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Impy? Uh, wait, Impu? Impy. Impy? <laughs> Impy. Do you want to, uh, do you want to de 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 donate your head to the course? Uh, I did buy a thing. I mean, Yay! I have 300 levels, but... Oh, it's up to you. <laughs> you, can send, you can send me your head in your own time. <laughs> is there a bed? You got a bed? I oh, always back here. I always have everything. Oh, there was one back here. Never mind. Boop. I have mm, uh Okay. <laughs> Laid this down here uh... for you. You wanna put your items in a chest or off to the side or Here we go, here Fine. we go. As yeah, long I'll... as there's no hoppers here. I'll just uh, I'll just back up, you know. Very friendly on this server, isn't it? Hi. <laughs> right. Dang, this Hello. this this helmet looks so fancy. Doesn't it though? <laughs> is that is that you got all your stuff back? Uh, looks like it. All right, you get to go here. Boop. There we are. Uh, speaking of, I need to get the second tier. Oh, really? Dang. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's great because uh, I you know. I was, I was thinking I've got to put this man in third place and I've run out of this block, but then you'd be in second place. So all is good. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you your trophy. Okay. Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that today. Uh, here, I'll give you a diamond block now. How nice. Boop. Thank you very much. 
as you're doing business. I've okay. got to write that down before I forget. I, I'm keeping track of every diamond um, <laughs> that I make. Plus nine. All right, so Izuma. Yes. I have some questions. Oh, questions. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Uh, As ready as I'll ever be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what or who or combination of the both inspired you to start making videos oh okay mm. this this is uh this is like a, a who and a thing okay? okay the who would be static 777 doc m77 yeah, okay. and uh efo as well right oh that guy those were my free that i was watching <laughs> first of all like a lot um right the, the thing that inspired me, though, to make tutorial videos was watching bad tutorials. Like, people would record at night and tell you, sorry, I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, I just ate my dinner. And they'd, they'd talk about other stuff, right? And I'm like, this is right. not why I tuned in to watch your video. And then that just kind of made <laughs> me think, I could do this. And so I did. And I, like, I, I thought, you know, I'm going to record in the daytime. I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to give them a guide on how to... Build things layer by layer, tell them the materials they need, and like that is the, the starting of my channel. So those two things. And the rest is history, as they say. It is, it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So question number two. Uh, if you had free reign over Minecraft, what's one thing you would do? Oh my god, this is such an easy answer for me. One one thing. <laughs> I would address the inventory issues immediately. Yeah. Like I would get on that and I would tell the peeps at Mojang, I'd, I'd split them into two teams and I'd be like, over on team A, we're going to work on stuff that feels really close to the vanilla game. And then on team B, we're going to redo the entire inventory and rethink materials from the ground up, you know, nice. and then throw both of them out into the community and see what they want. Do they want to keep it, nice. you know, stacks of 64 and, you know, we've still got the same sort of size inventory, but shulker boxes are a little better? Or do we want to completely, like, change the whole system right. and make everything better? I mean, sounds good to me. Which one <laughs> Which one would you pick, by the way? Would you Do you want it to stay closer um, to vanilla and just tweak things or, like, have a complete redo? You're asking, like, what I would change? Yeah. Or do? If what I had what side are you on? Um, I'm on the side of slabs and stairs. Where, where I've been for like a decade now. <laughs> you want more slabs than stairs of different colors? I, want, well, I will put up with the inventory. I, I have always Dang. wanted concrete slabs, concrete stairs, concrete walls. I mean, you're saying that you want more inventory issues. I, hey, if that's it got your me solution. More, slabs, <laughs> more blocks. If it got me more slabs and stairs, I would put I'm up gonna... with the inventory. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create 128 shades of color and give them all slabs and stairs and vertical slabs and trapdoors so. and half slabs and quarter blocks. And then I'm gonna get you deal with figuring out how to fit all of those blocks <laughs> into your inventory. <laughs> but hey, at least we got more options, right? Uh, <laughs> and yeah, maybe, okay. <laughs> Because I I feel like we're more likely to get slabs and stairs than we are revamped inventory. Definitely, yeah. I think they're afraid of touching so, it. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So, question number three: uh, What has been your favorite project or build or event since joining Hermitcraft day one? Does this have to be a thing that I did in Hermit in Hermitcraft? Um, not necessarily. No, no. Now I really feel like I, I I would like want to properly think back and remember because so much stuff has happened. So much stuff has happened that's been amazing in Hermitcraft that it's hard to like point at one thing, which makes me want to say like the whole thing, the whole Hermitcraft journey. But, so just everything. Yeah, it's just a lame answer, really. You wanted to like that, one not, thing that popped no, out. No. Okay. I don't think it's lame. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got I got one for you. Okay. Uh, episode 299, Professional Minecrafters. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, don't you? <laughs> it took me a second, but then I was like, oh wait, yeah, it's that. There, there is that one thing that I always uh, I refer was, back to. I was there. I'm, I'm very well familiar with it. <laughs> yes. 
Oh my god. I was, was filming you all down the hole. Yeah, <laughs> it was just the silliest thing ever. We're supposed to be pressure professional Minecraft. Dude, it broke me because like <laughs> we're like these, I don't know, titans of Minecraft, right? And we're all just in a hole stuck by water and we can't get out of it. Oh, that was oh. hilarious. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I love that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> that's that's my favorite answer so far, got to be honest. <laughs> oh, right. That's awesome. Awesome. It just brought back that memory of just hysterical laughing at all of us just yeah. the shame and the, la and the laughing. Dude, I was in actual tears. Like, I couldn't <laughs> believe what was happening. <laughs> oh, that was great. <sighs> oh, okay. Memories. So I'm going to be up at this level then? Or... Uh, Yeah, you got 250, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'll put yeah, you right like up there. Two, 268 currently, so... Dang. Which, uh, which permits do you have? What shops are you running Food. at the moment? Food. Okay. I, I've been, I've been trading with villagers, so I'm, oh, I'm not a customer, sadly. System. <laughs> I should spend my That's diamonds right. over there a little bit more. I do have some to we go got, around. We got a plan for y'all. Oh, you're going to mm, starve we'll us out see. somehow? Oh, dear. We'll see. Thank oh, you, Zuma. What an ominous way to leave. You're welcome, Bye. I think. <laughs> oh, that was cool. I'm so glad I remember 299 in time. Like, uh, my memory's terrible. And I was thinking, oh, man, that there's there's got to be something, right? Of course, episode 299. Like, what else? Oh, that was good fun. Um... Tilda MC, thank you so much for the 18 months. And Vinet, gifting a sub to XP Crafted. I yeah, might have been watching. I don't know. Thank you for gifting the sub. Cass says we got a plan for y'all. I'm very curious now. Iscal has almost like 600 diamonds now from Rockets. Lol. Yeah. Um. He needs to. He needs to submit over here. Like, send me a thing in the post. So I need to go get another one for XP now for two fifty. Ah, that's convenient, isn't it? I will take this back to the other spot, right? And here's our one for XP. So I need. Oh, I still need to go get an XP stamp. Right, XB also knows why he's getting a trophy. I don't have to tell him anything else. He's donated his head. Um, congrats on 250. Then I need to give him a 250 trophy. That's an important part of this. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Annie Note Moss says, Hey X, thanks for the Hermitcraft Season 9 conversion on Bedrock. You are most welcome. I am blown away by how many people it's reached. And uh, the whole the whole thing, it's just, it's been totally worth it, right? <laughs> like, uh, it was a lot to do. I had a feeling it would be um, well and truly worth it. And I, I'm not the person who is put in the most time either. There's been other people working on the project, but uh, what I've learned is that it was amazing. It's always like you look forward to the end of the season when you're going to read those comments about people telling you what they've been up to when they go around the world. And then to see like a wave of that come in again made me realize like, you know, how many more people we can reach this way as well. All in all, very cool. So if we go into our memory here, but we've already got some of these around, haven't we? So we need this 250 over here. Show arms, put that on. This one will need the same sort of treatment. Show arms and uh, another one of those. So would it be just the next one up? No, it's the one below. Whoops. The very first one over here for Impulse. Who's uh, donated his head. 
So, like, the, the leaderboard's a bit funny at the moment because if anyone else signs up, technically they're level with MP. Wait. MP? Impulse. Where are my other signs, anyway? Um... And then I'll leave that there since we're going to... Is that... Why don't we put in all the signs right now? That way we're not running around later trying to figure it out. Hey, uh, Cole Mick resubscribing for 33 months and suddenly 10 gifted subs from Voodoo Vandal. Thank you, my dude. Thank you so much. Not only a generous donation, um, 10 gifted subs as well. Caroline, Huxka, Pastel Cottontail, Spacey Kate, Not The Real Helmis, uh... Borealis Laura, Rockin Shaman, Blue Can Blue Pancakes. Oh my god, the words. Making Motti and Libby Hellish. Y'all been gifted subs. Be sure to say uh thanks to Voodoo in the chat. For you, my friend, I am going to play the animation. Thank you so much for uh gifting those subs. This is, this is what I do every now and then. You know, Puka's made these amazing animations. We give them a while. And don't worry, you're not watching much. I'm not actually doing anything. I'm just sorting myself out. I'm standing up now. Uh, Bumblebee says their son plays on Bedrock on his tablet. And he's really been enjoying the world download. Awesome. One thing I'm looking forward to doing this month, uh, this world, is working on making it a better experience for the world download it feels like that's becoming a bigger part of a hermit craft world now as well it's just knowing that it goes into people's hands at some point and so we've got some ideas among us as a community to put stuff in that's going to be incredible for the world download i have a uh, i have a mega project that involves like a the broader hermit craft community and I think I, I think I might look for someone to work with on it soon. It's starting to feel like... I don't know. Like you don't want to leave it too late into a season. I know it's early days, but... It's starting to feel like... Uh, yeah, there might be room for that. There might be room for that sooner than later as it goes. But I can't say much. I like to keep these things a bit more uh, secretive, don't I? Do we need a uh, do we need a Bob Sumer? You know, because of the new update. Bob Sumer, anyone? There we go. There we go. Thank you again, Voodoo. That was for you. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, Sharu says yes. Mob Sumer. Mob Sumer. All the mobs. All the mobs. Ogsuma. That's that's more like it, isn't it? Very simple. Oh, interesting. Interesting. According to my recording, I've been live for nine minutes. But, right, I'm going to stop recording. No. Okay, the number stopped. I've been live for 38 minutes. Interesting. Interesting. I do want to be somewhat uh, prompt today. I'm going to put an alarm on my phone. Just because I've had such a busy day and I've still got other stuff to do. I want to keep my uh, streaming time sort of spot on. Okay, so look at that. We've uh, we put that the whole way across. That's good. We've just got to finish up these armor stands. So, somewhere in my notes, I should have some numbers for this. Oh, I don't actually see anything. I wouldn't have saved it in a different document. This is interesting. Well, then... Yeah, it's not in there. I I have a memory of like writing it down. Maybe maybe I started with something complicated and then made it easier. Uh, anyway, these are these are actually on the head tab, if I remember correctly. 
So you do that. Okay, then we want to do no gravity, no base plate, make it invisible. Let's send this thing down like, yeah, that's way too far, isn't it? 1.5 doesn't quite look right to me. It could be that the first time you do it, you do it an additional 0.25. I might be right. Oh no, look at that. It's so it's so much closer. I really I really remember writing this down. It's kind of annoying. So then we look at like this value and bring it all the way forward. See, this one I think is definitely going to be 75, right? Yeah, naturally now now it's looking way more like the others are. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it in the correct spot. That's good. Hey, Carls of Doom is here, gifting a sub to Skythighter. Thank you, Carls. Appreciate you gifting that sub. Uh Shalvarak, thank you for seven months, my dude. Appreciate you using the old Prime sub on me. Thank you for that. I didn't realise it's nearly been 40 minutes already. It's gone super quick, says Finn Gisessis. Whose name I'll probably just butchered. Yeah. Um it goes time goes quick. It goes quick. So these three here. Uh was it one point seven five? Mr. Point there. Huh, what would happen if it like went deep down under the world into lava? Like that could be something that happens. Okay, yeah, it wasn't that one, was it? It was this one. And that puts it in the correct spot. And that is a fully updated leaderboard. I cannot... It's going to look, like, a lot more interesting. It, I mean, it already looks more interesting than it did before, right? So the more permits we get involved, the better. Is essentially uh, what we're getting at here. Uh, what in my inventory needs to be sorted away? Uh, tools need to be sorted away. I'm, do you know what? I'm wearing my wings so much now that I should probably just leave that in there. I re rarely swap them. Okay, let's pack this away and write those letters. Oh, I've made a mistake. Okay, uh, wrong way around. Very good. You mean your horse, says Forgill. Yeah, it's my horse, of course, yeah. Okay, so we've got XBs done, but we need to bring a stamp. I'll put that on my post stream notes, because I'm gonna I'm gonna do this after stream, so like. Okay, we'll get the XP stamp. Um, so to Ren, I need to write in the book. Um, we'll call the book Congrats. And we'll say... Uh, I've refunded you a diamond. Trophies now cost one diamond block. Okay, that's the that's the first thing we need to tell him. Why do I feel like there were three things? I think no, I think it was two. I feel like there was a third thing that I realized when we were doing this, but I don't think there actually is. I just need to tell him the leader. But Chad, do you remember me sort of sussing out, oh, we need one more thing or something? Does that ring a bell? Hmm. Also, if you could be so kind as to donate your head to the sales shop, it will be placed 
on our brand new leaderboard. So we, we advertised to Cleo about the leaderboard by letting her know that she was in the lead. With XB, he's come over here and seen it. His head, yeah, no, that's that's the, I, I was getting there was a third thing. The head, the two things that I've written are the two things I remember, but I have this feeling that there was a third thing um, that we discovered later on, but uh, I don't know. The C said ghost says he keeps ignoring it. What is it? What exactly is it? Cybot, welcome to the stream, my dude. You should definitely just go up to Grian next time he's online and get his head a bit forcefully. I'm not comfortable with doing that. I know some people play like that, but uh, I never know. I'd, I'd rather ask. I think I think that was it, honestly. I think I just got the XB thing in my head as something extra that I needed to do. So, there we are. Right, so these will get sent out from here to for those hermits. Just need an XB stamp and we're good. Right, so things that can stay behind. A little iron nuggets for the leaderboard. Uh, we'll go drop some things back off at my base. Hey X, is R slash Hermitcraft staying the way it is? I don't know. I don't know quite what that means. Not sure quite what that means. By the way, I wanted to reserve a space uh, over here before the opportunity might pass me by. Uh, this alleyway thing here is super cool. Now, I I don't think I could do this. This is like Minecraft art, right? But if I'm if I'm like if this stuff is in the area and I can look at it and think, I start to see like ideas and like what the details are doing and like it really unlocks you know the ability to like remix i have a hard time creating something out of nothing um but if stuff like this is nearby i can i'm confident i can add to it so i was thinking the rooted dirt would fit in really well next to these kind of materials you can definitely do as well as stress stress has sort of pivoted a little bit like it feels like it's a progression into a new style this style is awesome. It's just not quite what I want to do. This is a bit more uh, futuristic, cyberpunky. This over here feels a little more, I don't know, rustic maybe? So I was looking at this spot down here, and I think what I want to do is find a way to do something with banners that says Rooted Dirt, but maybe in a cool way. I don't know. Um, not that these ain't cool, just uh, I really like that one. <laughs> So I thought it would be a good idea just to kind of reserve the space. It looks like it might be wise for me to make a bit of a corner shot. So if this continues, it could either go in that direction, right? Or, or it could continue going straight. What I'm going to do for now is just reserve the space because I need to crack on with it. And I'd be gutted if like I came over here and then all of a sudden it, someone else had built something there. You know? Because... I ain't gonna do it in survival. It's doing it in survival is something I really want to get to grips with, but I'm still not there. I'm gonna try, try and do, you know, try and do it in creative where I'm being a little more direct. That's what I've done with my last couple of builds in creative. Is like, okay, I'm using creative, but like, let's try and zip through what we're doing as opposed to exploring every possibility. If that makes sense. So, so it's a little closer to doing it in survival. It's a little... Oh, call the store Rooted and Hermits will get it. Yeah, Rooted's a cool name for the store. So there's clearly like a little gap here. And you know what? It might be a little tricky. Actually, I could build this thing going back into the water and like, create a little boat thing on the opposite side. Like a boat station. Oh, that's a nice idea, because then it could be, like, false is connecting the server for boat transport, right? It could have, like, a whole visit by boat kind of vibe. So I feel like that's going to be more than enough.
go ahead and just uh, make this a little taller. If you're doing a rooted dirt shop, you should have roots going into the water. You see, ideas like that can really kind of help us mold a theme. Like, it's going to be a boat dock, and it's going to have roots going into the water. Now we're, now we're playing with something, you know? I think, I think I'm going to stop about there. I think that's probably more than enough space. These builds, by the way, they ain't massive. I have a tendency to probably scale up a bit too much. So I think I've given myself plenty of room here. Yeah, let's write down those ideas. Also, uh, Prowl8413, thank you for the raid, my dude. Welcome all the raiders. We are on Hermitcraft, just uh, checking out the shopping district, making some plans. Let's see. Uh, what did we say? Rooted could be the name. Roots into water. I feel like it's going to have to be a building that has a tree growing for it for some reason now. A uh, tree grows. It, which is already sounding a bit too ambitious for me. And then it's going to be a boat dock as well. So all of those things, right? So it should be pretty easy to like put in four corners of the building and then have obviously one in the water. Then kind of go from there. Oh, did we just set off Cub's firework rocket shop? Also, what's this? Oh, the eclipse. Dang. I wish, I wish I'd have learned about the eclipse in America like a fair bit sooner. I think, I think I would have, uh, like I wouldn't probably wouldn't have gone alone, but like go with family and uh, go go watch the eclipse. When I was a kid, there was an eclipse, and for some reason, when it happened here in the UK, I was just in a swimming pool, and I remember it all went dark and then got bright again, and I was like, oh, that was the eclipse. Like this is an incredible event. You know, when I was a kid, I didn't realize how uh, incredible an eclipse is, and. There's an eclipse in Europe in 2026. Oh, thank you. I've got it bookmarked on my phone. And I keep forgetting to continue doing the research. But, uh... Let's just check in these sales here. But yeah, I, I've been meaning to look up, like, where are the next bunch of eclipses? Ooh. Oh, we're selling them at Diamond Block now. We're selling them at Diamond Block. Good stuff, good stuff. That's going to be the new currency, I think. I might, but probably don't, have sales here too. I keep forgetting that I've got this one. Yeah, no sales. So, Big Cat, thank you ever so much for the Prime subscription, my dude. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Love the name. So, 2026 in Iceland or like Portugal. Ah, okay. If it's only in like a small area of... Europe as well, it might be that it's like a real magnet for, um, you know, people coming across and whatnot. Let's, uh, let's go perch on Perry and see what's happening around here. Ooh. Okay, okay. That, I think, is new. There's a river coming through there. So, like, if you want to go over to Rooted, I think you have to go all the way around there and back in or something. Oh, there's another hermit flying around. There's someone down there as well. This is this is new. This is hang on, let's get my zoom rolling. Oh look, it's an XB. A wild XB. Yeah, it looks like Corallus is expanding over here. Building a part. Oh wait, all of that there is new to me as well. And this building. Dang. This 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 looks beautiful. So many trees. Gorgeous. I think I think that's something I could do at some point. Like, if I prepped a little more before coming into a season, it's like clearly Corallus has got like a palette of things that work together, and like coming up with your own tree, you know, can really can really help build a biome. Uh, Ren's expanding like off into the distance over there. I've noticed something about the area, right? 
since we've had this river on the right hand side this over here now looks to me like a great base spot like it'd be really cool if someone just built in this space i just, I just love things being next to one another right Oh, I think Thulse has done more work over here too. King Krusty, thank you for the cheers and bits. Appreciate it. Saying hello. Hi, welcome to the stream. Oh, you can see what Thulse is going for here, right? That's nice, yeah. That's cool stuff so far. And then there's even a little placeholder bridge idea. This is good. I think it looks to me like the waterfall might start up here. This all looks like Thulse's work. Beautiful stuff going on in the neighborhood. Our beef's always expanding. Feels like there's a new field every time I come over here. It's so cool to see all the stuff get like closer and closer together. Did you use Iskal's Mission Possible? I... I think I know what that is. That's like the books thing. Okay, I don't have mail right now. I just left a torch in here. So I need to get the XP thing later. For now, I just need to drop off these. Wait, a rocket? Oh, someone just flew by. Who goes there? Uh, wait, what am I doing? That writing paper needs to go in here. It's a revamped Hermit Challenges. Got ya, yeah. Okay, um, let's head down below and continue working on what we were working on last time. Although, I should check my list. There are other things to do this stream. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll crack on with what we were doing. I do, have, uh, I do have something interesting on my list. It is to create a mural, or two of them, at the... Sale shop. Oh, wait, we got slimes. Squishies! Delicious squishies. I just, I couldn't think of anything, and I'm totally not accustomed to doing stuff with armor stands, but if I could come up with a cool idea, that might be something we do on stream at some point, is make, uh, make like a mural on the wall in there. Ah, uh, look at my friends. Should this be our screenshot for the day? That, that might just be my thumbnail if, if nothing else interesting happens. Woo! Pretty cool, pretty cool. Sir Big Cat says, huge fan, dude. Never been able to catch the stream because of the time difference in New Zealand mixed with my work schedule. It almost never lines up. Loving the style for Season X. Is there any figures to back up the copper aging on aged copper technique? Oh yeah, there's a video out there by Frunocraft. Um, I think what might be misunderstood about the numbers thing is that it's not the fastest method to... Um, to, to age them, but it's about the time horizon being the equivalent of leaving your computer on overnight, right? And then it's like, well, that's the thing you can do as a player. You can just go off, do something else, and come back. So if it were like, if the method meant it got done in two hours, then it would be convenient for, you know, hey, you're going to go do some things for a little while and come back, leave your game running. Um, but it's very good for just overnight. As a result, let's go ahead and get some of this stuff going. I don't know quite how much we're going to have. Uh, we're also going to want these things again. I've also got junk in the trunk. We can just... Those things might go back into here. Yeah, we've got some of those. So maybe I don't actually have that much. Oh, look, I do have a little bit. Oh, and apparently I left a stack of that down here, dang. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, this is our uh, project from last time. I'm wondering if maybe we should ditch the orange on the floor. It's just very orangey, but maybe we should keep it just orange where the storage is, right? 
Um, so jungle will probably go next to oak at this point, relatively, relatively well. I know we've got all the waterlogged stuff in, so we'll do it over on this side. Uh, it's another question of like, where do we want this to come from? So I think like a water feature somewhere around here. Rip out all of that. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make this up like let's say there's just water there. Here is something I recently found out with the free cam mod. There is a setting that allows you to place blocks during the free cam mode. Of course it does doesn't allow you to build outside your normal radius, but it does allow for reaching certain areas. As behind walls, under blocks, or on top of it. Oh, oh, okay, that's an interesting exploit. Um, I've I've used it like uh, how do you how do you put it like you're, you're like attacking attacking mobs or whatever. I think while you're in while you're in free cam mode, I've used it like that one time. I'm gonna try and use jungle more often with this whole water thing just because a like, jungle's going to be our uh, more weathered material or something along those lines okay and then this thing's got like gonna snake uh maybe we'll do that Yeah, that looks that looks good. Right, we're not gonna have water come from over there, so then all of this space would be like again, I'm gonna mix up both of these materials, but let's have more of the jungle near where the water is. Something along those lines. Uh, in the hopes that it like subtly tells you that story of these are these are the damper bits of wood, you know? Like imagine imagine if you had uh, damp wood as a thing. As a texture in Minecraft. Ghost says, I'm running out of ideas on how to show this emote. Okay. <laughs> uh, make it dank and make your storage room ceiling leaky. Oh, yeah, we need to put water up there. Yes, very good idea. So far, though, i got to admit, I'm really liking the fact that this is different. It just feels, just feels like there was too much orange. Oh yeah, that doesn't work that way, does it? How were we doing it before though? Oh, from, yeah. From the thing itself. So we want to, we want to get like three of them together, which would be over here. And that one can feed the rest. Oh, and that one there does it too. Nice. Yeah. I think that works, doesn't it? Okay, let's get some more jungle wood up in here. Looks pretty cool. I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you think so. So around here we want to break this stuff. And replace it. And also put glow lichen on top of it. Minecraft water physics are such a pain. They're not the worst thing ever. They're not the worst thing ever. I'll say that. I think they're alright. Oh, that's not the way. There it is. Uh, right, then these two I think we're going to turn to jungle. Oh, whoops. We should probably do at least like one bit like that, right? Alright, and then let's get in here and rip out some of these wool... Ah! The water.
Skiz trying to fight the water doorway on his pyramid was horrible. It was a tricky one. It was a tricky one. It's about um, the timing of the block update, right? That was the uh, gist of it. There we go. Villager transport is a pain. Water physics is just that. It is a pain. Yeah, that one's a pain for sure. I'm with you on that. Apparently, uh, I've just completely missed these ones. Doesn't seem to bother me. What you doing, says Rollonster. I am finishing the decor of this room down below. And I'm a little bit thirsty. Anyone... Has anyone tips for Bedrock Iron Farms? Yeah, YouTube that. Just search it on YouTube. C said Ghost says, uh, with well, the cheers and the biddies, just wanted to say hi and show what I've got from yesterday. Cool. What is that? <laughs> uh, thank you for the cheers and biddies, my dude. Much appreciated. Did you always put water on stairs like that? I don't remember that, says all, but yeah, that's a thing. Basically, they're water loggable. So we're going to have one come from over here. One from there. Maybe one from that corner. I think that'll do. And we'll do a few odd things with this as well. We'll make it like stand out or something. Bogdan says, are you British? Apparently I am. According to a survey of idiots. We surveyed 10 idiots. They said assume as British. I don't know where this joke is going. Oh, okay. We've got, uh, we've got some space down here that needs sorting out. Erin Derry is here. Some cheers and bits saying, I recently started to work from home and now I am able to actually catch a stream. I'm a huge fan and I think I can speak for all of us when I say thank you for how much time and effort you put into everything. That you do for us. Thank you for that lovely message, man. Greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. I uh, can't thank you enough. Thank you for the cheers and biddies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit back down, peeps. Oh, I haven't been stood for long, but uh, man, I've had a busy day. Been on my feet a lot. British says cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Yeah, I'm British, mate. Dropping the tea, ain't I? I sent you a tweet showing a pic of the 2018 eclipse. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. I will see that maybe later today if I check my tweets and stuff. I feel like this music is kind of fitting. Like we're in a... We're in a... If this were more spooky, if I threw down some cobwebs, it would be, be quite fitting. Let's, uh, let's do... I accidentally put the blocks together in a way where I made something... Like a little unintentional, I think, earlier, and it looked cool. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, we'll just keep making it up. So, I guess this room sort of ends around here. So, we'll send it back over to there. Oh, we could have it split into two different channels. That There's, there's your idea. There's your idea. Okay, we got that one. We got that one. I need some, like, basalt around here or something. This'll do. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe this one just, like, wraps itself around this a little bit. Goes off in that direction. This one can start heading over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, so we're going to have some sort of leaky thing there. And then this one will go over here. Rightio, I clearly need some more jungle. And probably some more of this stuff too. Just Monez is here for 12 months, one whole year. Thank you, my dude. 
appreciate your resubscription. We got out cry 013 here for 500 biddies saying, Hey X, how do you stay motivated to making videos? I suppose self-discipline plays a big role. Uh, it does, it does, my friends. It does indeed. Um, one thing I'll say though is that there's discipline and there's also habit. And for me, I think it's it's a mixture of both, but discipline kind of comes first. So, you know, I'll have my I'll have my moments and my times where making videos is a little less fun or whatever. But then you just gotta remind yourself to take a break, recharge the batteries, whatever you gotta do, really. But one of the key things is like reminding yourself that. If you don't feel it today, there are other days where you will feel it. So my thing is like, I turn up every day because, you know, 9 out of those 10 days, more than that even, I, I love it, right? So on those days where you don't quite feel like it, I'm, I'm not just gonna uh, kind of like give up on it, if that makes sense. I think I got the wrong idea here. I want to I wanna be putting, I'm distracting myself a little bit, I want to be putting more of the wood where the water isn't but more of the oak wood i think i mean so it follows the water around a little closer very nice very nice let's do the water logging bit next Sloggy, thank you so much for 13 months. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, discipline builds habits, says Crazy Rose. There you go, that's a way of saying it. You know, there's there's discipline to stuff, but there's habit too. It's like once I get it in my mind that I want to do a particular thing, you need the discipline to do it, but then with time it becomes a habit. I wonder if this, this method works between blocks that don't actually touch water. I think that would show us that it, it doesn't do that. Like, even though they're next to each other, they got to touch. Alrighty. I especially like that it goes down to where the pillar is there. That's cool. And then the light coming out of there kind of kind of gives the room enough, I think. Gives the room enough. Now, the next thing I want to do is put in a couple of chips in the floor. Not too many. Uh, but I always think this is a good idea. Just the occasional chip here and there. Maybe a couple of pressure plates or uh, something else might be appropriate at some point. So yeah, we got that. That's looking good. Right, I reckon I reckon some dripping water is now a thing. I think I want to put it like above the center as well. Uh, where am I gonna? Right, we need multiple of these. Then I got to get up there on top of the thing as well. So much to be done. Waterlog the chips. Nah, I wanna keep them I wanna keep them separate from the waterlogging stuff. Uh where are we gonna go? Now, stone bricks usually means don't break, but I kinda remembered that there was some temporary stuff around here, right? Ah, we found our way to the mud. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. Ooh, why is it light here? I guess yeah, there's a torch up above. Right. So yeah, we're kind of we're kind of above there. Let's say we just do that for now. Kinda of wanna open up more of this area around it. But there's dirt. Uh, then we'll pop down and take a look, right?
Hello? <laughs> I don't even see it, man. Does it work like that? Does it go through mud? Maybe mud is one that it doesn't? Dude, I, I thought that we'd get the water dripping effect. Do we not get that with mud? Ah. Oh. What a bummer. Turn that patch into dripstone. It has to be dripstone, does it? Do you know what might look cool up there? Like little actual bits of dripstone. I can't remember. Well, it surely should be. Yeah, it's it's somewhere in here and it is in here. And uh, if we head back over here and grab some. Like would dripstone look any good hanging from? Well, actually, if we put it there, it would drip, wouldn't it? Because it's dripstone. So we're saying we're saying that the like the water above would create the dripping effect. I don't know. But like would this look cool just having a couple little bits in the corner here and there? Little patches of it. I'm really not sure. I'm just messing around. Feels to me like it kind of fits in. I'm not really sure what it's trying to say. The one up here, though, doesn't. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's double check that it was actually in the correct spot. No, it was off by one. Ah, now it drips. Now it drips. Oh, we... Yeah, okay. So that's... Oh, and that one's dripping now. Hmm, so maybe we could have a few of those. I think it's just a little too light there. So let's say we got one above here. Right, I want the dripping effect to land on this block. So we'll put one there. This is some real subtle stuff that we're aiming for. One there. One here. Just three. We'll put three up there for now. We need a proper ways to get up there too. No, I don't want more water going in here. Thank you. Still little pockets of it to be found. Ah, oh, I fell down. How unfortunate. That's what I get for looking up. Okay, we've got a ways up here that's proper now. Proper and true. Your mud will turn to clay with the dripstone. Oh, will it? Ah, oh, that's that mechanic, is it? Ah. Uh... Oh, this this ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame. Let's just leave let's just leave the dripstone where it is. Uh, I think I think I want to take the two out from the middle. I don't feel right. I feel like clustering them at the edges makes sense, but not like that. So like, let's do a one, two, one there as well. Right, a little bit of glow lichen on the floor at some point. Oh, maybe a couple of those here and there. Let's now sort out this side. This should be very straightforward. Uh, a couple of andesite slabs since we've got them. What I feel like is the one in the middle. It's a very typical asymmetry thing though, isn't it? But the one in the middle I feel like should be the doorway. Okay, then those are going to be waterlogged, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll waterlog those. Let's get a few more of them as well. Now, my inventory is starting to fill up with uh, just disgusting random clutter. Intolerable. Intolerable. Let's put away a few more of those blocks too.
Okay, um, so I want to fill up the thing of water. That was one thing I said I wanted to do. What else? I wanted to put more grates on top of it. Ah, I don't think we have my uh, other block here, the stone cutter. Let's move this out of the affected area. We got the stone cutter. I should really just leave it over here with the crafting table, shouldn't I? I say, I say this a lot, but like every area should have these things just left there, including an ender chest. Oh look, I already had these. Um, yeah. Then I think I want to put blocks behind this. I could do with more buckets at the moment, that's what I'm realising. A few more buckets in my inventory would be nice. Okay, um, fill these up. That might come in useful. I feel like an iron door in general would probably look good over there. Maybe one of these trap doors. Oh, we've got to put some cobwebs in the room and the glow like on. Oh my god, look at my inventory again. Uh, okay. What did I say? Iron door, so... Make that. So the crafting bench and the stone cutter should really just become a part of this room, I think. That they should be featured in it. Yeah, these uh these blocks look a little boring around here, don't they? Need more stuff going on. A button. Oh, what about these trapdoors? Since this area is a bit different. Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna need a button. I can make one, can't I? Put down a pressure plate as well, possibly. And then there's the question of like what goes behind whoops these grates. Grates are great, aren't they? Ha 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 ha. Uh, how do I open that door? <laughs> With brute force. Like a cobweb. I feel like I don't want too many of these. I don't even know what we're doing really with that side just yet, do we? Um, right, glow lichen. Definitely kind of want it down in this area. That looks pretty nice, I think. Having a bunch of that spread out. Oh, we got to do the whole scraping and honey wax at some point as well. Forgot about that. That's the thing. Pressure plates. Let's put those in. So you can just walk up to it. Walk back out again. Uh, maybe this doesn't actually need sight behind it. I know it's technically see-through, but it's kind of looking okay. Uh, someone suggests putting down some moss carpet. Where would that go, though? Maybe over here we could have a little bit of overgrowth on this ledge or something. Yeah, I really like how there's a copper grate there. So we haven't we haven't actually done that over here. We're going to do it the same way, like a copper grate each time. At the floor. Well, that just happened. Oh yeah, and I didn't get rid of that. <laughs> Important part of it. What stage are you going to wax? Um, a mixture of the first two stages, I think. Will be what I'm aiming for. A netherite beacon could look nice in this build. Yeah, should we... Uh, we could do that. Should we quickly take a trip to the nether and get some netherite so we can make a netherite beacon? Does that sound like a good idea, chat? Just quickly uh, pop one somewhere around here. Not sure exactly where it would go, but 
There's no reason we can't do that, right? Still got some time left this stream, I think. Five minutes working and out, says Perix. Five minutes, you reckon? Five minutes, eh? Yeah, just throw together a quick old netherite beacon, I shall. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. That uh, sounds like a thing I could do, possibly. Who knows? Okay, um, then... I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put the two over here as well, like a gap of two. Ah, look at this. It's not finished quite where I thought it did. Right, I think I want to get more of these tough blocks together. Start to start to create the shape of the room a little bit. I still feel like there's a lot of uh, space there. Wait, where where enough are my tough blocks, man? They, okay, I get it. I picked up some shulker boxes for this project, and they were in here. They were in here. Need those grates as well, don't I? Okay, so one of them over here. One over there. And one over here. I think I'll have this stuff recessed at this point. Then we need to leave space for an entrance. Obviously there we've got that extra bit of space. Uh, didn't quite finish that pillar. Ah, and look, this, this thing, we were going to send it even further back now that I think about it. So yeah, maybe that isn't going to be right on that border. Maybe this thing goes further back and we put it somewhere else. Right, once again, can't get away from this water. Don't be messing anything up down there. Dang. I'm trying to make a little water source here. There might already be one. Uh, goddess for goodness. Thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. Let's see. Um, do that. And this thing will just keep going in this direction. So around here. So we just do that. I don't know. That'll be our room shape, right? So we can get away from this being an asymmetrical build and stuff and... Really embrace a little chaos. Does this strip stone expand or grow with time or anything? Just sort of hit me that might be a thing. So yeah, are we going to have water like flow down on top of that thing from here? I can actually do that. Do I need this space behind it now that I think about it? Like so. Bring it up to here, drop a bucket on it. Uh, probably put a cap on that. Ooh, dropping in. Water here. And water there. Definitely, definitely quite different, isn't it? Um, I feel like I feel like I know what I want to do here. I think I want to put a grid of trapdoors across the front of it, like all the way across. 
Use all the blocks. Change the tough ones at the bottom. Then you've got like a wall of detail right there. And you know what's the most expensive of all the copper? It's this one. This recipe right here, man. It needs revising. Uh, so that's... I'm going to need way more than that. I don't like... I don't like using lots of these. <laughs> Too expensive. How many do we actually need? Let's just go place them. So. One. I'm one short. Of course I am. Let's uh, let's just cheap out. There's, uh, there's an option to cheap out here. I don't know. Something like that there. Almost looks like it's an entrance to somewhere. Just top on through, you know. Okay. Ingots would be enough. Yeah, I agree with that. Ingots would work. I need to eat food now. Did you see Scar's greenhouse? There were so many trapdoors. I didn't, but uh, I can imagine. Now, now, it, now it feels like the water isn't even there. I cannot. I cannot. Oh, that's not a trapdoor. I was going to say I cannot let a trapdoor just sit and despawn. My god, the inventory again. Just you look at it and you're like, ugh. So much going on. Uh, I was thinking chains might be interesting. It just it just looks a little pointless. Like, why are you there? Like, I like this idea, but it just it just needs to fit together with a bit more rhyme and reason, I think. Sort of what I'm thinking. Lightning rods in front of the water. It's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Worth a try. Where are my lightning rods? Are they in redstone? They are. I've only got a few though. Make a few more. I wonder if this this block should be able to be aged, you know? Hmm. I think that kind of works, you know? Uh, what do these things make? How do you make the... Yeah, they're not the ones I want. I need to go to the stone cutter. Uh huh. I will make two of those. That feels a little better, I gotta say. Uh, I reckon another block we could use here. One of these. So maybe that top one is just one of these instead. It kind of looks like it like it used to serve some sort of function, but because this area is so old and degraded, now it's just creaked its way over to this thing in the middle. Now I like this one here. Don't know what I want to change about it really.
Yeah, and these, these things need a bit more rhyme and reason to them now. I think this is where it might be a good idea to bring in these. Um, so I've had another little idea kind of in my head for a while. Ooh, ladders might play a role in it. Oh my god, this inventory is somehow just unfathomably disgusting again. Uh-huh. What was the other redstone block? Lightning rods? Okay. Where does everything want to go, right? Like a grindstone would fit in as well, I think. So, like, we want to give those a home inside of this area. What I was thinking was... Spruce trapdoors are pretty nice, aren't they? Let's make a bunch of those. Ladders might come in handy. Um... Something to prop them up with. Actually, I might use those copper rods again. Then I'm going to need more of this stuff. It's like, as we get to this spot... Like, what if we have, like, an elevated platform? Then you're going to need like a little step up somewhere onto it. That's why I like the idea of the ladder. A couple of ladders could work well there. Um, don't know how it's going to tie in with this now. That's kind of in the way. Maybe that one we don't do a thing. It just, it just disappears under this platform. Because I was thinking you can see these blocks. We'll turn them into tough. Like that. Okay, change all of that up. Uh, what do we want? Sight and waterlogged. Then we need another one. Just one more stair, please. One more. Right, what I'm going to do with this back row, though, is lower them. Oh, yeah, we can change up the direction a bit, too. Same thing again, actually. We'll lower them. Right, so you'll look, you'll look under there and see all of that. I think, uh, I think we'll do the same thing again. Put a ladder on it. When you come into this room, like there's clearly going to be a little spot over here, and then we just want to make this look like a work area is kind of like the main thing. As I'm seeing it. Like there. Plus one inventory complaints. I mean, every time I play this game, I complain about the inventory, don't I? Basically what I do. Right, we need more of that. More of that. No. Yeah, try to trick me. I will not fall for it. Right, now now it makes it very awkward for me to finish what I was doing down below. Dang it. Yeah, just that space. So I need to do the water bucket thing. Uh, it looks like we need to fill in this too. I don't think it matters that it doesn't actually go anywhere in the end, but you know that'll be out of sight, and then all of this can just be jungle wood since it's damp down here. And then I think actually, I think I'm going to bring this forward.
Right, so now we've got to make this look and feel like a work area, right? Crafting bench over to the side. I feel like when you come into the area, you're going to want to see this crafting bench. Uh, Badger Spanner, 63 months. Thank you so much for the support. Appreciate it. Closing in on a whole stack there. Uh, thank you so much. Evil X is in the, his house. I just noticed I was sent a message by one of our mods. Uh, Asuma, thanks for the hours of entertainment. I always love your waffles. Any chance of a stream where Skiz Impulse Ren and you talk about music? Uh, I, I'd be down for that. I'd be down for that, yeah. That could totally be a thing that happens. Uh, let's see. don't know quite what we're doing with this space yet, do I? Maybe we do that all the way around here. Come back to that later anyway. So... Ideas. Chat, you got to hit me with ideas now. I feel, like, uh, I feel like I'm running a little dry. Like, it's one thing to have a crafting bench. But how do you plop it in a, in a... Like, you want a barrel over... Oh my god, this inventory. It's disgusting. Okay. Lanterns instead of torches. Where are the torches? Okay, there's one there, but that's just lighting up that area. Yeah, uh, lanterns from chains, actually, over the back here. Probably a good shout. Oh, making a shelf. There's an idea. There's an idea. Putting things on the shelf. Okay, so a chest. All right, I'm putting chests on the shelf. Now, now you got me going. So barrels are good storage, uh, but so are chests, right? So we've got to build up these walls with more tough blocks. All right, where are the tough blocks? I'm having a tough time finding them, I'll tell you that. Lanterns from grindstones. Oh, hanging from them. That could be a thing. That could be a thing. I'd like to say one thing at a time. But it never works like that. To make a work area, I use the smithing table. I don't think I got a lot of those. Aren't they just iron and wood? Oh, I hear the slimes again. Dang. I think when I'm here, they spawn a lot. Right, so these walls for now will just be walls, funny enough. Right, that'll help us very much just focus on that area. And it's conveniently blocked out the light for us, which is a good thing. Should we put mud as the roof on this side as well? I think we would. I think we would. No, I didn't I didn't want to be down here. That was my elytra again, just making me whoop into a hole. There's the mud. Yes, yeah, so let's start placing it. Wow, it is dark. I had a feeling it might be dark. Whoops. Now that's quite a bright light compared to everything else, but honestly, uh, it probably does need to be the soul lantern, doesn't it? It needs to be the soul lantern over here. Okay, so storage room. Chests on 
Yeah, so like one there. One here. The thing is, though, it's the same material as the floor. So maybe I should get a different thing in place. Do I have an axe in my inventory? I don't think I do. Oh. <laughs> some reason I thought that was off. Chaos Rat says, hey, X, I'm new here and honestly forgot you streamed. What are we doing? Oh, I stream, buddy. I, we're streaming. That's what I'm doing. Isn't it obvious? Jeez. Uh, we're just working on the storage room, like flexing the old building muscles a little bit. Uh, constantly being irritated by the inventory management. That's another thing we're doing. Yeah, so we're going to try soul lanterns. Redstone torches would make great lighting down here too like where it's really dim okay so like what other what other blocks here the smithing table will look great in there but i've only got one to spare yeah loom is probably another one isn't that made with string as well isn't that like wood and string oh my god i don't know i don't even know what planks to use here Low lichen sporadically on walls. Ah, uh, yeah, it might help a bit. Oh, definitely better that way. So, like a redstone torch. It'd be cool if it, like, blinked. Every now and then. I think I might put another redstone torch. So there's a bit of a Y to it, though. Um, kind of like it there, though. Doesn't immediately catch your eye. I'll just leave it <laughs> for now. Um, oh, you can kind of see there where the water just doesn't actually go anywhere, but that's fine. Oh, banners, banners are good. I just don't have it set up to do all of that kind of stuff. Oh, that doesn't flow out? Oh, I guess the uh, trapdoor blocks it. I thought it'd be cool if it just flew, flowed down in front of itself there. Let's put the smithing table and grindstone in this corner. I think I said we might need to redo the shelves. Let's find some other trapdoors, maybe jungle. Yeah, when I'm more set up, when my inventory is more, uh, like all my shulker boxes for building are done. It's getting annoying walking around like this now. It will be much easier because I'll have everything set up for that kind of stuff. Dang it, I didn't get my uh, axe. I think I need to move this bit now because we've, we're not working. Oh, and then I've got this. Ah. Oh. Oh, such a bite. Where is... Oh, I do have my axe this whole time it was on me. Redonkulous. Right. Is it going to be better that way around? Probably. For the contrast. Hmm. Maybe a different type of trapdoor here and there. Um, then this... Store two different things here. Feel like we need something cool to go on the top. Like a mini block. And we got so many blocks. Oh, a cauldron wouldn't, wouldn't be too far amiss. Maybe a brewing stand up the top. And I still haven't put my stone cutter in. So three blocks that need a home. I mean, you'd probably put this near the... Yeah, let's go. That one up there. No, wait, what? Cauldron at the bottom. Maybe. Let's do 
feel a lot. Little brewery thing going on there. And then we need a home for the stone cutter. I like that the stone cutter's animated. Right, I think some variations on the tough block would be good. And the, the way to do that is here, actually. What are we not used in this space? I think that one. A couple of these here and there. Right, um, it's not too bad really that area is it? It's looking kind of interesting now which is nice. You know we had that idea with the water here, what if I were to put it like, yeah at least, at least if you like look at it it looks a little, actually I don't know it looks kind of awkward. Okay. I don't know, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I think I think uh, we need to move everything now over to the other side, basically. All of this has got to go. Um, there was cobwebs. I thought maybe one or two of those in the area. Maybe a chain of no end just hanging on its own somewhere. Kind of works, actually. Maybe a minecart. That's actually a pretty cool idea. Right. Um. So. <laughs> my favourite thing. Inventory management, right? My god, it's a mission to solve all of this. Where do cobwebs go in my system? Like, which one were they in? Over here? Apparently we maxed out on that. Cybot says, you can remove the trap door below the crafting bench table to make the water flow like you wanted. Yeah, probably. I, uh... I don't know. I'm moving on now. Ooh. We could probably hang something like this in the area. Uh, why are you dripping water? Like I thought, I thought they didn't drip water. Well, they didn't do that. In fact, I don't, I'm not even going to write. I said I'm not going to write anything on the sign. I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Maybe you could put them in a row and they'll look interesting. I might, I might write something and dye it later on. That's kind of what I was thinking. Anyway, anyway, any hoozle. Any hoozle. When was the last time I said any hoozle? I might have literally said that yonks ago. I feel like I used to say it all the time. Any hoozle, you know. I never used these mangrove roots, roots in there. I don't think there's going to be much room for that. Right, we're going to run out of um, this space like pretty quick. I guess what I should be doing is probably crafting another one. Also diamonds. Sometimes I forget that I've now got the means to craft more of these. But I don't have my crafting bench here. Randy Nicole, 2002, 107. 107 months. Incredible, my dude. Thank you. Admins of fellow mods during my tough year last year. You did make it easier. Thank you for the support, my dude. Dang, I remember that, Randy. And um, has it really been a year? Gosh, she goes by so quick, doesn't it? You know those big existential questions in life? 
for me, the thing that really resonated was the meaning of life is enjoying the passing of time. And, and that's that's helped me so much, that saying. Just keeps you kind of focused on the simple things, you know? Day to day, the not overthinking it. And just, you know, putting yourself on a track to enjoy whatever it is you're doing. Uh, buckets going here. That's been that's been the thing that's like really calmed me down. I think this last year, or however long it's been, probably less than a year, maybe. I can't remember when I heard it now, but ever since I heard it, something just clicked, and it was like, yeah, you can you can throw all the big existential questions at yourself, but at the end of the day, what's the plan? What does it all mean? Hey, maybe just enjoy the ride, you know? Do what you can too. Maybe it's not always as simple as just choosing to either, you know? Life throws all sorts of things at you. But when it's not, keep it simple. Right. Let's put these things on the other side. Uh, actually, let's put them back here in the tunnel. So you've also got to build the tunnel eventually as well. I think the tunnel will go back to simpler times and just have one of those like repeating pattern moments. Um, do I need that? Do I need to put that on the leaderboard? I was already on the leaderboard. I think I've been holding on to that thinking it needs to go on the leaderboard. And then I realized, no, wait a minute. That made no sense. This one here... Okay, those chests I was going to use for something. I was going to use the mud for something as well. Like, I had a, a shulker box with some supplies in it of uh, value to a particular project I was working on, essentially. Is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, there you go. It's slowly getting there. You know, it's an experiment. I don't know what all y'all think of this, if it looks great or not, but it's cool to just kind of try something, and there's... There's a bit of a theme here, you know, it feels like a work area. It feels a bit run down, waterlogged. Like it's 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 got a feel to it, and I think that's important. So when we're next down here we'll be sorting out this space, that's for sure. Um and the entrance, and then we've gotta have this thing hook up to that and go to the slime farm as well. No slimes here now though. Help me, I'm twitching, says they like the aesthetic. Awesome, awesome. And Rolf Wattle loves the atmosphere. That's good to hear. I appreciate the encouragement. For me, building is always a tricky thing. I don't want to keep saying it. Build is 7 out of 10. Thank you. That's awesome. I'll, I'll take a 7 on that one. Uh, right, my friends. I think I'm going to wrap up my stream right here today. Feels like we've reached the uh, natural conclusion of what we've been up to. Let's see, though, if there's another hermit online. I forget. I forget. There is. There is another hermit, and I think I know where they are. So uh, let's go do this the proper way, right? By the way, massive thank you to everyone for uh, tuning in today. Much appreciated. Stick around if you'd like to be a part of the raid. I'm going to go find uh, Hypno. Let's unmute and uh, head over there. Uh, do I even need a rocket? It'll get me there a little bit quicker. Now, there is a rocket dispenser built into Hypno's house. Or was. And oh, I almost flew into it. Okay, that's probably not a safe entrance. Shall I bust in through this window? Like a good neighbor would, you know? Smashing my way in. Anyone home? Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, God, why did that startle me? <laughs> I'm literally looking for an answer. Hi. Wait, how did you get in my house? I broke the window. What do you mean you broke the window? Well, TNT, like, you know, breaks blocks. Uh, it wasn't just the window, it was the wall as well. Mm. Over here. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's back to normal. Someone must have repaired okay. it. Okay. Oh, interesting, interesting. Weird. Hmm. Why why not use the door? 
well, I just felt like being different today, you know? Fair. You know? Okay, so now I need to set up Skulk sensors for block breaking. Okay. <laughs> Perfect test case for that. Uh, by the way, you got new armor on. Are those new threads, as they say? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I made this armor last week. This is netherite trimmed netherite armor. The Wow, trim. double netherite. Don't you have yeah. a little collection around here somewhere? I do, yeah. If we go downstairs. Sorry for the mess up here. I'm like trying to get this all fleshed out right now. That's what I'm working on. Dude, it on. looks great. I don't, know, I don't yeah. know what this mess you speak of is, apart from a few shulker boxes. But that's <laughs> oh, Minecraft. Yeah, that's, that, that is the mess. <laughs> uh, yeah, down here is Ooh. our current set of armor. Ooh. Dang. This one over here is crazy. It's like you get two colors for one, orange and yellow. Yeah, I really like the way this gold one looks. It is it is nice. You're just the collecting netherite armor. My... That's so cool. I am. I'm... Okay, so here's the deal if you haven't heard. I'm yep. trying to collect every single color of it and then have, like, eventually a room where I can walk into. Press a button. It'll randomly select one Ooh. of these armors, and then I can just put a different set on every day. Yeah, you could put, like a, like, a redstone shuffling machine or something, right? Yeah, I want or, full or sets of armor, yeah. though, so I'm probably going to have to do it on armor stands or whatnot, but... I don't want like randomized every piece. I want it all the same set. Oh yeah, no, you can you can put um, armor stands in water streams yep. and like yep. store them with trapdoors and like shuffle them around. Exactly. Yes, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, you could engineer a cool contraption for it at some point. I love that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, it's completely pointless and. <laughs> ah, it's not really pointless. Any... It's not it's pointless. just fun. It's just for fun. Dude, this is this is really cool because I don't know just just something you don't normally do right and and now it's quite interesting hypnose by the way do these all have like mending and the best enchantments on i don't know you might have to right click on one of them and see if they do uh yeah that's all right have we got the old uh sneaks shift oh i don't have swift, swift sneak yeah i don't have i don't have fast pants. cleo's selling those and they're pricey but i'm gonna buy one yeah it's like 50 <laughs> diamonds each or something uh, I'm not sure if I can afford that. I might, I might have to buy one. Anyway, I'm <laughs> mo I'm over here not just to vandalize, uh, but to send my peeps over to because you're also streaming, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm streaming at the moment. Yep. We're awesome. just doing uh, some grindy block placing upstairs at the moment. I see. I see. I've been doing a bit of that myself as it goes, placing blocks. Ah, uh, so. okay. It's Minecraft. Uh, yeah, I'll <laughs> send my peep over to you. So um, thanks for All having right, me. Good. Here, mate. Cool. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Thank you for the raid. All right. Uh, yeah. So I'm sending you all over to Hypno, who's got amazing sets of armor that you can check out and see him do some building in his base. So yeah, uh, that's the end of my stream. And uh, Hypno will have you for the rest of your time if you want to stick around. So thank you, everyone. Take care.